Oh. So, a couple of little things. Uh, Belucius, who, while still making fun of me, I don't think he's very happy I got these. He points out that, you know, for Power of the Primes to look, Steinobots? Apparently, if you get the G2 S. What's the word? Galaxy Shifters. That's the one I was looking for. Steal the weapons off them. Apparently, they make really good weapons for them. Yeah, I can, I can see that. That works pretty well. But that leaves one slight drawback. There's no Galaxy Shifter big enough for Grimlock now, is there? Or is there? Well. <laughs> Let's just clear all of this out of the way, shall we? Because I went out today, uh, I was trying to look after, uh, sorry, look after, look for a few things. Uh, I did a video where I was out and about. You know when you go on one of those random long distance trips, but you know. And I found something which I'm going to have to show to you. Um, we'll have a quick look at the box. It is, well, the top says it. Galaxy Shifter flying through the universe. And bigger, bigger Galaxy Shifters. Uh, mission complete. Uh, uh, it's upside down, but we shift shape. The car and thing, blah, blah. Turn it over. There's a, there's a row, well, half transform, there's cars, half transform, blah, 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 there's a robot, and look all the lovely things you can do, blah, 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 blah. Yep, great. Okay, so, there are four different types, but I think there's two different uh, models, and they're in just two different colours. So, I grabbed the first two, well, it's not the first two. Uh, basically, when I got there, I'm trying not to knock everything off... When I got there, some guy was literally uh, taking them off the shelves. Um, he was literally taking them off the shelves. And I'm like, oh, has he put them in the back or what? Apparently he was moving them to make another display somewhere, possibly like clearance or something, I don't know. But I basically sort of stuck, stuck where he put them on the trolley. And then where he left them, I was just, uh, you know, he walked off to do something. And I was sort of like, <clears throat> I'll have that one and that one. Oh wait, that's this one in different colours. Uh, ooh, there's that one underneath. So I picked this one up first, and then there was the green one, which is on the back of the box. But the green one and that one seem to be the same thing, different colours. I thought, well, I've already got a green knockoff transformer being that bumblebee. So I thought I'd go for an orange one. And then it turns out the orange one is a completely different vehicle mode. I mean, they are completely different things. This camera is up way too high, I apologise. So, we'll, we'll go for the uh, more standard, weird, wacky, galaxy, shiftery kind of design first. And this one has been redone into a police car. Now, the green one on the back of the box obviously hasn't got the lights and stuff, hasn't got the star and stuff, but I thought... I haven't had a knockoff police car, or at least not for a very long time, so I thought this would be different. And the styling and all the, the gaps and the sleek and all the rest of it... Is this based on some sort of concept car? Who knows? Oh yeah, I've uh, fiddled with the lighting a bit. I like the physical lights in the sitting room. Uh, just pointing them around. So, you know. You might be able to see things. Hooray. But yeah, it's a very pretty car. Um, however, if I turn it over, standard Galaxy Shift is fair, really, isn't it? But there's a little bit of a twist. Literally, actually. Um, so, should we transform it? I think we should transform it. We'll, we'll do this quickly. So, what we're going to do is untab the arms from the doors. I say tab. They basically just sort of rest on the pegs. They don't really hold that well. So, we'll undo that. And then we'll wiggle the arm, arm, the doors loose. Now, at this point, it might pop this section off. Just eggs in, like so many other knockoff cars, and it becomes a shield. It's even got a nice little handle on there, which is quite nice. We'll put that down there for now. So we'll bring the doors out. Come on. Come on. 
the door out. And before we do too much, uh, where can I see it? Inside the door there, there's a slider. We've actually got to slide the door out in this bit to bit. Yeah, there you go. So I'll slide that out. Now when it folds out, it's miles out of the way. Do this side. Okay. You can pull the shoulders out. And you should be able to just drop the bike down, but if you can just make it out, there's a little lip there. Uh, a little bit of plastic sticking out. Can you see this? There's a bit of plastic, and basically you can't force it past that. Right, see, where that line is there, that bit's sticking out. That's a little lip. you got to sort of force it past that. Fortunately, it's all reasonably soft plastic. It's not amazingly soft. It's not Galaxy Shifter 2 quality plastic, but, you know. Force it past. Get the shoulders down to there. These little slots here just about tab into the neck there. See those little slots? There. These collary bits. Just about tab into those if you've got the arms out of the way. Okay. We are cooking with electric. So now we bring the legs down. Because again, they're on sliders. And I'm dropping something. Stop it. Right. So slide it, 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 slide it there. Turn the waist around. I told you there'd be a twist. See? Twist it right. Yeah, never mind. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Split the feet. And then there's this weird thing. There's a... Mm, I'm not sure about this bit. So I'll show you in a second. So you've almost got sort of like G1 style feet. I suppose you could leave it there. However, if you look underneath, there are actual feet, heel and toe that fold out. So he's got these absolutely huge, huge feet. Now, if you can see in there, which size it? There, this side, there's this piece of plastic, which I think the tire's attached to, that bit there. If you get it just lined up right, it seemed to want to stay there. But I don't know. Maybe I was imagining it. So I'll straighten that foot out, flip, heel out, toe out, and then he should just about maybe think about standing. It's right, is that done? Is that right? Okay, it's right, stay, 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 stand, stay. Stay. Uh, uh, oh, no. The joints, shall we say, are somewhat loose. And because of the way this turns, you can turn the wings so you can fold them back like that. If you don't want big, massive door wings, you can sort of fold them back like that. It's fine. And he's got absolutely massive feet. And you put this in his hand, which doesn't like going in, but it will. And that's kind of default, and that's how he comes. Uh, whatever. Oh, come on, man. No. So, yeah, and um, the head design is quite nice. I mean, from what you can see of it, it's quite nice. It's almost knight like. Quite like that. Uh, sort of ever so gently gold for the eyes in there. It's not painted well at all. But it's quite cool. Now. Accessories. This is where it gets a bit fun. Because they've got big holes in the arms there. And for those, you get twin cannons. Which plug in? Pug? Plug. Plug. Pl 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 plug in. Plug in there. There you go. And he's got dual arm guns. Pew pew. What? Not this going off for you? I haven't watched Iron Man 2, honest. I haven't seen that for a while. It just popped into my head. You also come with this. Absolutely massive cannon. Uh, which I've dropped. Just absolutely huge. Yeah, put that in the arm. But you know what? What's better than one gun? Two guns. This one, which looks much the same, but it's actually slightly different. Don't know why, but he's got that. Now I know what you're thinking. What if they get within the range of these absolutely massive cannons and you don't want to shoot them? 
well, there's one simple answer to that. You take the cannons off and you give them a sword. You know, you can use a shield with it if you like, if you can actually hold it. It doesn't he doesn't like holding the shield. But you see, again, one sword's just not cool enough, so let's give you a slightly different sword. So they just come with all these random extra accessories that there's no possible reason that they should ever need. And it's fantastic. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I love it. I love it to bit. It's so ridiculous. Um, a lot of these joints are floppy. I haven't done nothing. I've opened them. I've messed with them. I've reviewed them. I've not done any floor polish. I've not gone around with a screwdriver just tightening screws. That would probably do this elbow. This elbow is just a screw. Tighten that would probably do, you know. Few things like that. But this thing, this thing, ugh, this thing, this thing is massive. I mean, it's what Voyager scale, and you can take the sword if you like. I uh, don't know if that one works so well because of the the wings or the hilt. But we'll steal this one. This one, come here. There we go. And I think um, I think old Grimsy might be stealing that. Uh, it's a little bit loose in the hand. I might have to tighten that up a bit. But there you go. I've now got a sword for uh, Power of the Primes Grimlock. That's nice. You try and give him one of the guns, but because of the way the claws and stuff are, it's not... It doesn't really fit that well. So, it's a shame. But yeah, that's nice. But you see... I've got another one. <laughs> and it does transform pretty much exactly the same. Um, you sort of go over there and stay there. Just, just shoo, take your shield. And he does transform pretty much, much, pretty much, much the same. Ugh, wow. Transforms much the same, but it's a big fat sort of. I don't even know what you would call this kind of car. Cause it's only two door and the boot, so it's not like a people carrier or something. I don't know. Hot hatch? Whatever. So, well... Pop the doors loose. Pop the doors loose. Extend them. This one's a little bit more fiddly about it. And the extenders for this aren't in the inside of the door there. They're actually under the bonnet. So you ex uh, hold the front. Extend, fold out. Good. This is already popped loose. These weren't holding very well anyway. I don't know if I can fix that or not, but it just didn't want to line up and do that. So, and they split themselves. Fair enough, whatever. So we'll get the leg and we'll straighten it, bring it down and flip out. Something flip out, come on, don't fight with me. Flip out the toe, flip out the heel, and this one, straighten, 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 straighten. Flip out. Don't fight me. Toe. Heel. There we go. Turn the waist. There we go. And this time, the arms come inside and grab hold of these pegs. Just in underneath the... Uh, just behind the front bumper. And grill, or whatever you want to call it. So you bring those down. Then you can sort of bring this down slightly, and then you've got to pull them out, because they do still slide out like the others, but if you do it otherwise it's going to bang into the door, so you've got to sort of bring it down and then force it out. And they don't go quite as far, that's why it's got this hack cut out of it, so it can fit around like the uh, wheel arch, that's the word I was looking for. There you go. And to knock off Soundwave head in like this really sort of bright orange. Um, it might not be as bright as it's showing up on here. It's more of a natural orange rather than a yellowy orange. But, ah, oh, it's still funny. And just look at him. Look how massive his feet are. Absolutely not. I've seen. I've not seen anything as big as this since uh, Dark of the Moon Twins. But, yeah. And uh, the toes don't actually go flat. <laughs> They're pointing down at an angle. So there's always a gap underneath him. It's like he's walking around on tiptoes. But that was quite funny. I'm not sure what colour this one also came in. I, I didn't see the other one of that. I was kind of rushing because I was literally sort of nicking him off the guy's trolley before he could uh, put him away or put him out wherever he was. Uh, and again, he comes with 
two swords, but for some reason his came in blue. And again, I could possibly steal that, which is the same as the uh, orange one, the Grimlock, but the blue might not take the paint, because I'm going to have to paint it, but I don't think it'll take the paint as well as the uh, sort of beige. It's a shame. But he comes with two swords, fine. He comes with, where are we? Two arm guns, but for some reason, they're red. And they can't fit into his arms, because the wheels are there. Is he supposed to just hold them? Yeah, you can hold them. Can we can we put one in the bottom there as well? Or is the handle too long? Nah. So he's got two guns which can't peg into this one's arms. That's a bit weird. I, I haven't tried those before. Yeah, I tried them on the other one, but I haven't tried them on this one before. Yeah, that's a bit strange. And again, he comes with... The same two guns, but these are yellow. None of his weapons are the same colour and they don't really match him, but, you know, fine. But he's got the exact same two guns, so there's the difference between the two. And, you know, you can hold those, but again, all these joints need tightening, because if I put them on there, bleh, straight to the floor. But they are big, they're hefty, they are stupid, and they're a fiver. They're a five or a pop, which might be a bit much. But then you think about it, when you get all these extra weapons and stuff, which you can put with other figures, it might be worth it, you know, ju just to have all the extra weapons. I mean, these guys are quite fun on their own. I'll tighten up the joints and stuff. They might be really good. But they're funny. And if this guy actually comes in blue, you've effectively got a what? Sort of pseudo animated sound wave, uh, alternator sound wave. There you go. I mean that's cool. Uh, size comparison. What fell off then? All right. Well, there's a G two Galaxy Shifter. So they're easily, easily double the size, possibly three times the size, considering the mass. I mean I know they're five times the price, but the weapons. I've probably got more plastic than this guy. Um, what else have we got? Well, considering he fell over and he stole that guy's weapon, he can go there. Power of the time, uh, power of the primes, slag. Sorry, slug. But yeah, these guys are huge. Um, I only really knew these existed because before Christmas, before Christmas. The legend Mark Dawes uh, sent me a picture on uh, Instagram saying, hey look, I thought you'd like these kind of thing. I'm like, oh, you're a god. And then Christmas, I spent money on family and stuff like that. and uh, I just, I, I didn't get around to picking them up. But now I have. Um, and I've also seen something else in B&M, which I didn't try and buy because they didn't have a price on it. And I didn't want to be an idiot going to the till, ask how much it was. And then be like, oh, it's like 500 quid. And be like, no, no, all right, never mind. I'll, I'll forget about it. But what I saw, because uh, I'm going out tomorrow again. My brother's actually going to help me. We're going to go around a couple. Uh, because I've, I've seen a price. I've researched it online. And if it is the price I'm thinking of, I'm, I'm getting at least two. Titans Return, leader class figures. I've seen six shot. I'm hoping for an Overlord as well. In B&M, in the UK... They could be, or at least I'm certainly hoping, I'll, I'll give you more information when I find them, they could be £15 a pop. Leader class figures. Six shot, Overlord, whatever. There's a picture of a guy with a receipt and he had a uh, Sky Shadow. £15. Well, £14.99, you know what I mean. So, if they're that price, I will definitely get six shot, and if I can find him, I'm getting Overlord, because Overlord's the one I really want. But six shot should be fun. I can uh, compare him with the old Hexatron. He hasn't been out to play for about a year. That's sad. I quite like him. But yeah, so, um, the, I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to call them. Super Galaxy Shifters? Do you think that'll do it? Do you think we'll call them that? Or Galaxy Shifter Leader Class? Maybe? He could be the Autobot, he could be the Septicon, because he's Soundwave. He can't be goody, can he? Eh, 
Anyway, this video is like 20 minutes long of me talking about these really, really daft looking things. So, I'm going to call it a day there. Uh, so, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Laters!